Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z Coach Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big, not just this week, but every single week, no matter what sport you are betting on. So we are entering the second half of October now. So the NHL season is in full swing. So we're going to take a look at some of the matchups for, uh, for uh, Friday, October the 18th. So we're going to go to the VIP club section, and if you're not already a member, please join us. You can access this page and all these great tools to help you make your picks. So we're going to scroll down through here and, again, take a look at some of these games. And when we do so, we're going to take a look first at the, Carol, or the Colorado Avalanche at the Florida Panthers. So if you take a look at this matchup here, you will see that um, Colorado is first in the Central Division. Florida is sixth right now in the Atlantic Division. See, Colorado is burning hot at the moment. They have won, uh, well, they've won all five of their regular season games so far. Florida is ice cold down, and you can see what they have done recently. Not very good. You can see they've won just two out of their last six. And if you take a look at the power rankings indicator, you will notice also the trend here that Colorado is trending way up there at plus 29. Florida was down to plus six there, up slightly to uh, plus eight over the last couple of days. Let's take a look here at the head-to-head -head matchups from last season. You will see that teams split the meetings last season, both winning on the road, surprisingly, actually, with Florida winning in overtime. If you're considering the over-under, let's take a look at the totals predictor. You will see that Colorado is playing in games trending over the line. Florida is playing in games trending well over the line as well, so betting the over is a safe bet for games in this series. And you can take a look here also at some of the comments that people might make in here. This is actually the comment that I made about the game. So you can see all the uh, all people's opinions on what they think is going to happen. If you take a look at the uh, volatility oscillator to see how stable the two teams are, Colorado is at plus two, so they are one of the more stable teams in the league at the moment after just, you know, a, a handful of games, and Florida is at zero. So, there's very little to indicate that uh, Florida will take this one because Colorado is hot. Colorado will lose eventually, but will not be in this game. Expect them to win by a goal or two on the road. So, take a look at Dallas at Pittsburgh. You see Dallas is dead at the moment that status with well you can see how much they're losing you can see right here the five red out of the last six games pittsburgh is burning hot and they have won four out of their last six games if you take a look at what they've done so far this season as far as the standings go dallas is sixth in the central division pittsburgh is second in the metropolitan division head to head last season pittsburgh won both meetings five to one at home and three to two on the road considering the over and under so let's take a look at this one dallas is playing in games trending well under the line pittsburgh is playing in games trending a bit under the line as well so betting the under is a very safe play for this matchup let's take a look at stability if you take a look here at the volatility oscillator you see that dallas is at minus one so they're particularly unstable at the moment Again, this is another indication in a game where it doesn't look like there's much chance for Dallas to pull up an upset. So we will pick the Penguins to win this one rather easily. We'll go down through here to another matchup here. Another game with two teams that are really not playing well at the moment. Columbus Blue Jackets at Chicago Blackhawks. You see Columbus is ice cold up. They have won two out of their last three, but in general you can see two out of their last six. Although one of them was a preseason loss, but they, in general, have not been playing very well. Chicago, uh, dead at the moment. They won their last game, but you can see all those red losses in there as well. So they are not doing well at the moment. And this will show in the power rankings indicator as well. You see Columbus is at three. Chicago is all the way down here at zero. So we got two of the seller dwellers meeting in this one. Head-to-head -head matchups from last season. If you take a look at this, the team split both regular season meetings, both winning on the road. Considering the over and under, let's take a look at the over under. Columbus is playing in games trending slightly under the line. Chicago is playing in games trending over the line. So I would avoid betting the over under in this game. Are the two teams stable? Probably not because of where their records are, but let's take a look. And you can see, yeah, they're both at zero. So 
you know, in the middle as far as stability goes, so take it with a grain of salt, their favorite underdog status. I would give a, this is kind of a toss-up game, but I would give a slight edge to Chicago. They are minus one scoring differential, so they've at least been competitive, but Columbus is at minus seven right now, so I see this game going for Chicago. Let's take a look here at Detroit and Edmonton. Detroit here, the Red Wings, right now average down. You can see that they have won three and lost two in the regular season. Edmonton is burning hot. If you look at this, they have won all their games except for a 3-1 to one loss to Chicago. If you look at the power rankings indicator, both teams are up there pretty high right now. Edmonton very high at plus 30. Detroit was at plus 27. They dropped down to plus 20, but now have climbed their way back up to plus 22 over the last couple of days. If you look at head-to-head -head from last season, you will see that both teams won one. And again, both teams have won one on the road. That has been a trend that you have seen with uh, these matchups for this Friday. Very interesting scenario. Okay, let's take a look at the totals predictor if you're considering the over and under. If you see this, Detroit is playing in games trending over the line. Edmonton is playing in games trending over the line. So the over is a safe bet in games. Now, in this game, uh, how stable are the two teams? You will see Detroit is at minus two, so they're very unstable at the moment. So take that into consideration when you look at their favorite underdog status. Take it with a little bit of a grain of salt. Do not consider that very highly in this game as far as the betting goes. So the team split again last season. Edmonton is on fire. I don't see that changing at the moment. They are clearly the better team right now, so I would expect them to come away with a win in this game. So we'll take a look at one last game here. Carolina Hurricanes and the Anaheim Ducks. You can see both teams are playing very well at the moment. Carolina burning hot down. They didn't lose their last game, but you see all these green wins in there uh, prior to that. Anaheim is burning hot. Although they didn't lose, have lost two out of their last three, they're still considered burning hot. They have won four out of six out of their last six games. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you will see Carolina has been steady at plus 30. Anaheim was at plus 28. They have dropped over the last few days. They are now at plus 25. If you take a look at head-to-head, -head, again, as the trend has continued for all the games, Carolina won on the road last year. Anaheim won on the road last year. The home ice has not been you know, anything to really for any kind of advantage. So let's look at the totals predictor. You can see here Carolina is playing in the game trending slightly over the line, the red compared to the blue. Anaheim is playing in the game trending well, well under the line. I would consider betting the under because of that. Anaheim is really playing in the game trending well under the line. Do we look at the, everything else? The totals predict. Oh, the volatility oscillator. Let's take a look at the volatility oscillator. I always like to do that. Both teams are pretty stable at the moment. Anaheim plus two, Carolina at plus one. So, what do we think as far as who's going to win the game? Well, it's probably going to be a tight game. I think it might even head into overtime, but I see that Anaheim will prevail in this one on their home ice. Okay, so that's it for this week's games. It was, it was actually kind of a small schedule of games for this Friday, only six games scheduled. But there you have it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Happy betting, and we will see you again next week.